Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is food politics. So if you've been to my restaurant or you know of my restaurant, you've seen my blogs before, my, my video me rant on about big conglomerate companies and uh, GMOs and um, just, you know, I rant a lot about where my dollar goes or where your dollar goes. So if you come to eat at my restaurant, I want that dollar to go to the very best place possible. Am I perfect? No. Can I make improvements? Of course. But I'm extremely conscious. So if there's an option to pick a small independent producer, whether it's a farm, a beef farm, um, a distributor, or a spirit or beer company, I'm going to pick where I know it's going to go to an independent owner. That's plain and simple, whether it's in my community or a community in Italy. So that dollar needs to impact the best place possible. So I've done a couple of videos and a couple of posts on Diageo. Diageo is a multinational conglomerate that controls about 150 different brands of spirits, like Ciroc, Smirnoff, um, Captain Morgan's, uh, Absolute, uh, not, I'm not Absolute, um, um, Captain Morgan's, um, Myers, Lagavulin, Dowlini, Oban, Moet Chandon, Dom Perignon, Shalom Vineyards, Blossom uh, Vineyards, uh, Guinness. Uh, I mean, when I say 150 brands, 150 bands strong Diageo is. So, my biggest problem with Diageo is they're part of ALEC, A L E C, the American Legislative Exchange Council. They are much more than lobbyists. They have a fancy title, American Legislative Exchange Council, like they're counseling people on our American legislation. Wrong. They actually write our American legislation. It consists of several hundred companies, and please go to alecexposed.org. alecexposed.org. Google that, search it, type it into your address bar. You will see what these people are exactly up to. It's some of the strongest and most powerful corporations across America that have joined forces together and they write our legislation. So there's a lot of legislation that's popping up all across the country. Like in California, they pass a law for Gardasil. Now at Gardasil, you can give your 12-year-old daughter Gardasil and she doesn't need permission from her parents. She can just go get it done at 12 years old. That was a direct action of ALEC. Of course, now the Gardasil maker is a member of the ALEC so they write special interest legislation and get it passed. So you can actually go online and see which uh, state legislators are actually in bed with ALEC. You can see who's actually taking the bills verbatim from ALEC and passing them right on through. So it's special interest groups, special interest corporations that actually just write laws for themselves, hand it off to your scumbag legislator, and your scumbag legislator, state legislator, just signs it off and passes it off like he wrote it or she wrote it, or like it's the best interests at all. It's not, it's all special interests crap. So, Diageo is not only a member of ALEC, they're a corporate board member. Now you can go to alecexposed.org, sign a petition, and let these companies know that you're fed up with their crap. And it's starting to work because companies like Walmart and Wendy's and so on have actually resigned from ALEC in the last year. They haven't renewed their membership. Now I've emailed Diageo, I've tweeted Diageo, and I've left comments on Facebook pages of the companies that they own, like Smirnoff, Ciroc, uh, Lakavulin, um, Tangeray. I've left exact remarks on why are you involved in ALEC? What is your purpose? Some have been very nice, some have been a simple question. Some have been really downright, well, why the hell are you part of ALEC? And I won't support your product because you are part of ALEC. Now, I've gotten, I've asked nicely many times before I actually raise my tonality in my posts, so to speak. But basically, I'm going to keep posting on, on these Facebook pages. And you know what the funny thing is? They keep deleting my posts. They don't want you, the consumer, to educate yourself. They don't want you, the consumer, to know that they're part of ALEC. They don't want you, the consumer, to make your own choices or to really know what they're up to. Isn't that messed up? So every time you drink Lagavulin, every time you drink Johnny Walker, every time you drink Tangeray, all these fancy brands and Don Perignon, there's a deceptive company behind those brands that doesn't want you to know what they're up to. Do you know what the best thing to do is? Boycott them, 
ban them all together. They also own a lot of beers too, like Guinness, a Guinness, uh, Red Stripe. Go to some of my posts, I'll put a link in here. You can exactly see all of their brands. Just Google Diageo brands and you'll come to their website. You can see it, literally 150 brands that they control. Now, Alec is the, not the main reason, one of the main reasons, but there are other reasons. See, Diageo doesn't play fair. When you talk to other vendors or vendors that sell products, these Diageo is so big that they bully the vendors around. They think that they have the best portfolio, and to an average drinker, they would have the best portfolio. But to an educated drinker who's looking for small independent brands, you wouldn't touch any of their stuff because it's just big mass conglomerate stuff. So what they do is they go in and buy a brand. They strip it of all their values and morals, they lay people off, people lose their jobs in these communities, and they mass market it and mass produce it now. They cut corners just like InBev Budweiser does when they buy a brand. Also what they do is, you know, they threaten all these competition and awards and all these, all these um, uh, affiliations like this that, that present, do presentations. They threaten with, well, why isn't our brand up there? Why aren't you recognizing our brand? And Google it. You'll see stories of how they've gone in and threatened to withdraw and not make sponsorships if their brands don't win competitions and awards. Plus, you can go online and look at, I know people that have worked for them. They say they're one of the worst companies out of all to work for. They do not treat their employees right. So if you're coming to my restaurant and you're going to give me your dollar, if you're going to trust me with your dollar, there's no way that I'm going to put your dollar towards a Diageo product. Because you know what? There's thousands and thousands and thousands of other small independent distilleries and brands that value your dollar more than Diageo will value your dollar. I can personally guarantee that. If you have any questions, if you need, if you're a diehard Johnny Walker fan or you're a Tangare fan or this or that, email me if you want to look into other brands. I've done a lot of work in this. This is how I built my bar at my restaurant. Um, I don't have all the answers, but I have a lot of the answers of spirits, small independent spirits that can replace this big conglomerate that you can save money and know you're supporting a much better cause or you're supporting independent distillery. Go support an independent distillery, ban Diageo, boycott Diageo, and tell them how you think. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, pass it on, share it, spread the work, and drink independent. Thanks for watching.